Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about while loops and we have also discussed about the very basic concepts of loop, what are loops, why do we need loops. So in this video we are going to learn another loop in Java that is called for loop. Now for loop uh, conceptually is mostly similar to the while loop but it the structure of a for loop is a little bit different. Okay, so let's get started. Now if you look clearly, uh, I mean, if you look here, you can see that when we are using a while loop, first time we are initializing a variable, okay? Then we are checking a condition, then we are doing the things that we want, and finally we are incrementing this variable, okay? So we are assigning the variable that is initializing with a value, checking the condition, doing things, and finally we are incrementing the value. So in case of while loop, we had to do each one of these separately. But the structure of the for loop is a little bit different and it is more compact so that we can, we can do everything at once. So that is why for loop is special. So let's, uh, let's see the structure of a for loop. So let me go ahead and copy this thing so that you guys can see the basic structure of for loop let's paste it here and let's write here entering the for loop out of for loop okay so uh, let me go ahead and write for loop here so the basic structure of a for loop is you don't need this here First of all, write for and inside the parentheses, write two semicolons. Okay, so here we have written for and inside the parentheses, we have written two semicolons. Now, these two semicolons had divided the inner part of this parentheses into three parts. In the first part, we are going to do initialization. Okay, first part, we are going to do initialization. In the second part, we are going to check the condition, and the third part, we are going to increment the value of the variable. Okay, so let's do this. So first of all, let me create a variable here, int i equals 0 or 1, and then let me check the condition, i less than 6, and finally, let me go ahead and increment the value. So i++. plus plus. So what here happened is, we have mostly the same structure as a while loop, mostly the same functionality as the while loop, but with a little bit different structure. So as you can see here we are, in case of while loop we were initializing here, and in case of for loop we are initializing here. Then we are checking the condition here, and here we are checking the condition here. And again we are incrementing the value here, and here we are incrementing the value here. Okay, you have to write i here. Okay, print an i since we are using i in case of for loop. So now if I go ahead and run this, let's go and run this, and as you can see, as you can see, it says entering the loop, that is in case uh, this it is entering the while loop, and it is out of the while loop, then it is entering the for loop, and it does the same thing. But only the structure of the for loop is different, but the working principle and the uh, and the functionality is exactly the same as while loop so it does the same job but using for loop makes things uh, pretty easy because you have to, you can do everything at once now the most important thing don't forget the semicolons if you forget the semicolons the for loop will never run okay you can forget everything but these two semicolons you need that in, uh, everywhere so this was the very basics of for loop i hope you guys got the concept and uh, learn something if you have any problems any questions just write those in comments and if this video really helped you please hit the like button uh, down below this video and subscribe for more new tutorials every day and i hope you guys enjoyed thank you very much for watching see you in the next video